spring reverbs. It's just, it's usually not my thing. I mean, I like the sound. I like the sound a lot. Don't get me wrong, but they just typically don't have the, the decay length or the modulation that I'm looking for in reverbs. Or at least up until now, because the Solid Gold FX Surfighter 4 contains some serious atmospheric waves. Let's roll the intro jam and hear it. The Surf Rider 4 is a ground-up redesign of Solid Gold FX's iconic Spring Reverb pedal. Featuring all new DSP, the pedal now contains three different Spring Reverb modes, as well as inbuilt modulation, giving you access to everything from clangy and percussive lo-fi rattles, dreamy Fender-style drips, and otherworldly atmospheric textures. Let's quickly jump into the sound that instantly sold me on this device. Um, in this example, we're using the, the biggest reverb tank possible, and uh, a healthy dose of slow modulation for some dreamy ambience that really makes slow melodic progression shine. That just sounds so, so good. Floaty, dreamy, just how I like it. And it's definitely not a sound you would expect out of a, a normal spring reverb. Now let's uh, hear the difference between the, the three uh, reverb modes and learn how the control set works.
favorite feature in, uh, in Surfrider 4 by far is the inbuilt modulation. It can just add some really rich dimension and movement or a hint of uh, vintage warble to your sound. I like that a lot. So let's learn what that's all about. I also have a soft spot for using spring reverb light pedals in front of distortion since their bright and lively nature creates this cool granular-esque tail that just works really well in a shoegazy context. So let's hear the surf rider do some shoegaze. <laughs> Surfrider can add to some bouncy synth arpeggios.
I just have to admit that I did not expect to be as impressed by this pedal as I am. I was totally blown away by how close it actually gets to sounding like a real spring reverb. Seriously, once the music is playing, nobody's gonna be able to tell the difference. But what really sealed the deal for me was the the, the three different uh, reverb tank modes and the inbuilt modulation, which sees this pedal deliver such a wide array of sounds, making it usable for, for not only surf rock or classic rock, but also modern indie, uh, psychedelic stuff, and even, you know, shoegazy dream pop and, and post-rock stuff. No problem. I honestly can't find any bad things to say about this pedal. I really like how they managed to keep it simple and to the point, but sonically interesting at the same time through the, uh, the extended decay time and the lovely inbuilt modulation. So if you're looking for a spring reverb pedal with uh, some amazing character to it, then definitely put the Surf Rider on your list. All right, that was all I had for you today. Thank you for watching and thank you so much for sticking around to the end. I really do appreciate it. I'm Stefan and I am checking out.